Okay, so week one was 551. Leads investment. I don't know why I just drew that line there, but we'll leave it there. Okay, and then uh, appointments set. Nine appointments that's set with, sit and sat, <laughs> was six. And I wrote five apps, okay? So week two leads was 9.55. So I ramped up pretty fast there tonight. So it's been nearly double. Appointments set was eight. Sits six. Ads written four. Okay. Week number th three. Terrible handwriting. Okay. Leads. 808, okay, appointments set was six, okay, appointments I set with was, oh, set was, was eight, six, and apps written, four. This is a poor week. For me week four leads 771 it was tough getting leads that week uh, appointments set eight appointments set with was five and apps written was four for a total of 18 apps submitted and 15 apps through underwriting we call issued and paid okay let's go to the video uh whiteboard so i can kind of break down what this was like in numbers Hi, how you doing? My name is Steve Houston. Welcome to my channel. Sorry about that. It's just uh, trying to catch a breath between the between the videos. And uh, I, I look, I've been waiting to do this video for a couple days now. This is the first end of the month video that I have that I will be have done um, since starting full time part time on March twenty second, twenty twenty one. And I point to my computer monitor over here because. I had the date on there as to when I uh, was committed to going out there and uh, being full-time, part-time. Meaning, I'm going to be doing this every single week, two days a week, that's it. And I'm going to be spending, or working my way up to spending, $1,000 a week on leads. That's, that's the goal. That was a commitment I made to, to many of you on this channel and uh, also to my uh, agents. Why? Because there's a lot of talk in this industry about, you know, um, the more money you spend on leads, it directly equates to, and you've heard me say this too, uh, it directly equates to income, production, applications, more sits. I had a video, the last video I did more, you know, uh, more leads equals more sits, more six equals more sets, more sets equals more applications. It's quite simple. So there's been a lot of talk about 500,000 bucks a week. And, you know, I, I've never really tracked my lead, lead, uh, purchases like that uh, and we just buy the leads that we need in order to set the number of appointments that we need to set per week in order to get us in the uh, the applications that we're seeking to hit our income goals and that's what I recommend that you all do so uh, but I do like to lead by example here I think that integrity matters I think that uh, leading from the front matters I think that you want to be coached and mentored by someone that can teach you day to day case by case the skills necessary the skills and the mindset because the mindset is a big important part of this too 
but the skills and the mindset of what it takes to succeed here. So I launched on this journey for a couple of reasons. I, first of all, I love being out in the field. First and foremost, I love selling insurance, mortgage section and final expense, life insurance. Uh, I always have. I never should have really uh, stopped doing it uh, on a regular basis, but I, got, I poured myself into the building of the agency the last four years. And uh, I just found out that I had less and less time to be committed to going out there and, and running leads. Like I said, I was always doing warm market sales, referrals, uh, that type of thing to stay current. And, uh, and I love sitting with a client. But anyways, if you've been watching my vlogging, I vlog a couple times a week before and after I uh, head out for the day. So you see the results. And again, I, well, I haven't got there yet, pretty close, but I'm working my way up to $1,000 a week. Why? Because I want you to see that the more you spend on leads, it really is a direct correlation to the amount of money you're going to make. And so as long as you trust that, you're convinced that it's a law of large numbers, it's a metrics-based system, so X does equal Y, uh, all you need to do is match the lead conversion ratio with your conversion ratio, and you can make a fortune in this industry. So uh, rather than me tell you, I figured I'd show you. Um, you know, you heard me say the last couple of uh, months here that we need more gurus in this industry and less gurus. A lot of gurus that are out put, they're putting out videos every single day with these producers are just knocking them dead, um, but they're not selling insurance themselves. And so I, I think it falls on uh, deaf ears a lot of times. So, um, you know, I want to be a guru and I could turn around and teach you to do the same thing. I don't want to be a guru. Don't feel like I have those qualities, okay? So uh, this is end of month, first month. This started March 22nd. I didn't do an end of month in March. I uh, apologize, but I will do one. I'm going to hope to do an end of a week and an end of a month going forward. So you'll have the vlogging that's going on day to day, but you will also have um, end of week and end of month uh, as we go down this journey together. So anyway, um, here it is. Let's talk about this, because I think there's some things to learn here, okay? End of my month in April. Let me go over here to the side so I can, you can see uh, uh, me and you can see the board. So end of month in April, week number one, you can see that I spent $551 on leads, okay? First week. Uh, I had nine sets. I had, <laughs> give my finger work, six sits. In other words, I set nine appointments. I set with six, six families. I wrote five apps, okay? Now, week number two, 955, okay? I set eight appointments. I set uh, six, uh, set with six and wrote four, okay? Now, in, I'm going to stop with a finger stuff because it's hard for me to do. So week number three, leads, I spent $808. I set uh, eight appointments. I set with five families. I wrote four applications. Week number four. Leads spent seven seventy one oh six. I set eight appointments. I set with five families. I wrote four applications. So uh, I spent three thousand eighty five dollars on leads. That's not a thousand bucks a week. It's averaged about seven fifty a week. Thereabouts. Okay. Um, so a lot of people are going to get shocked by that. But look at the production. I didn't have a week where I scratched. I had a couple weeks that were average. Uh, I find that when you talk to top producers, you're going to find out that they don't have four good weeks. They have a couple good weeks, one average week, and one really crappy week. It's hard to string together four good weeks. It's hard to string together four good rounds on the PGA Tour as well. Most athletes will tell you that. It ebbs and flows. But for the month, I wrote or submitted 18 applications, submitted. I issue paid 15 of the 18. I had one still pending. I had one decline. And, uh, I must, and I'm not sure what happened to the other one. No, it, it would, uh, I, I, I only have one decline, so it, maybe, maybe I have two pending. Not sure. 18 apps submitted, 15 apps issue paid, one is still pending, one is a decline. So I'm missing one app. I'm not sure what, what the status of that is. I'll have to go back and look at that. Okay? But that, wh what is there to learn from these numbers, okay? That's the important thing. Well, uh, number one... 50%, I averaged about 50% of the appointments that I set that converted into applications. So here, I set nine, wrote five, that's about 50%. I set, I, wrote, I booked eight, 
set with, I wrote four. I'll get it right here in a minute. Here, I booked eight. I wrote four. Booked eight. I wrote four. So about 50%. Law of large numbers. Okay? I've been doing this a long time, and I average about 50%. Okay? And so what, that, what does that tell you? It's absolutely X equals Y. Okay? If you book nine appointments or ten appointments, now you may not be as good as I am, and I'm not saying I'm good. I'm talking about experience level here. I've been out there doing it for a while. There's a learning curve to this business, and there's a certain way to work, to work these leads, and that does take time to learn. So you might have a 30%, but you'll get to 50, and you'll get even higher than that if you keep doing it, right? So uh, my point was is that, and I'll talk about this here in a few minutes, my goal, as I told everybody on this on these videos earlier was to uh, issue pay. Let me see what I have down here. My goal was to issue pay. Uh, my goal is to do 30,000 30, submitted, issue pay 20,000. Well, I missed that mark. And I wrote that down here. I missed it by what? I missed it by... Five thousand bucks, basically. And I'll talk about that in a second. But but there, but again, that's what what you learn from these numbers is about fifty percent appointments booked. I've converted into applications, right? I missed my goal uh, at the for the month, which was thirty thousand submitted, twenty thousand issue paid. And so, what else do you learn? Okay, if I had nine appointments the first week, eight appointments the second week, eight appointments the third week, eight appointments the fourth week, what the, what caused me to miss my goal? Very simple. I'd never set another, enough appointments. My goal for my appointments set per week is 15. I never hit that in the month of April. So had I hit that, right, I would have, I would have, if I had done, set, if I had set 15, I had 7. 15, 7, 15, 7, 15, 7. 7 times 4 is 28. The average application is 1,000 bucks. Okay, so I would have submitted about 1,000. I would have submitted about 28 to 30,000, which is exactly what I wanted to do. Right, we we do about somewhere between eighty percent, eighty five percent placement. So that would have been right my twenty thousand dollar number. So if you look at these numbers, my closing ratio wasn't bad. It was okay, fifty percent. Right, uh, my lead span was about right, not quite a thousand bucks. Had I bought a thousand dollars of the leads, I could have booked my fifteen appointments. That's what it's telling you. Had I booked my fifteen appointments, I would have hit my goal. So it's very, very predictable, okay? Okay, so new board here, and I want to go through this thing. Let me move this out of the way because there's a lot of information to digest here. So let's see if I can get the glare off the board. Maybe that'll do it. So end of the month of April, okay? So we had 18 applications submitted, okay? 15 issue paid. The submit number was 26,252 APV. Okay, the average APV I've told you for years is a thousand bucks. I actually averaged one thousand four fifty eight forty four, so almost fifteen hundred dollars an app APV. I issue paid fourteen thousand and nine dollars, and that was about average nine thirty three ninety five was the average. Okay, so issue paid commission fourteen thousand nine, which is at a ninety percent contract. So. Again, fourteen thousand nine. If you're on a ninety percent contract, don't email me or call me and tell me you can give me better than ninety percent. That's actually pretty good, and I'm not at ninety. I'm using this as a general rule of thumb for the new folks who are joining this industry. So ninety percent, so twelve thousand six oh eight. You got to minus out the reserve because you got twenty five percent reserve, right? So that's three thousand one fifty two oh three. So deposit in the bank account for working two days a week. For four weeks, nine thousand four fifty six. Right now, I want to add back in the reserve because that's my uh, gross income from this month. Right, because I will get the twenty five percent reserve. I run about um, eighty five to ninety percent better than uh, 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 for, in terms of persistency. So I'm going to lose one or two apps a year, maybe. So I'm going to recover my 3152, right, 95 percent of the time. So I'm going to add that back in, and that means I, I my total earnings for the month 12,608. I had my lead cost. Whoops, I had my lead cost of 385 dollars, three thousand 
$85 right there, okay? So my, my net gross income, $9,523.10, right? I say gross because I don't have the $31.52 back yet, the, the reserve, okay? But that's after leads, $9,523.10. If you multiply that by, five, by 12 months, I'm on, the, I'm on a run rate of about $115,000 a year, working two days a week. Okay, now look a little further. I broke it down to four weeks a month. I'm making two thousand three hundred eighty dollars and seventy eight cents a week. Or again, I go out two days a week. For my time, I'm earning about twelve hundred, exactly eleven hundred ninety dollars and thirty nine cents per day. As I told my team on the Friday night call, how many of you would hand me three thousand dollars, right? And just hand me $3,000 if I were to hand you back $9,523 or $1,200 a week. So you're going to pay $3,085. You're going to earn $2,380 a week. Everybody that wasn't a person on the call didn't put their name in the chat saying, hey, I'll take that deal. We're going to get two days a week. There's absolutely no excuse why anybody can't make it in this industry at a high level. I'm not suggesting you spend $3,000 a month on leads to start out. I suggest you get there as soon as you can because the more money you put into leads, the more appointments you're going to have, the more appointments you have, the more people you're going to sit with, the more people you sit with, the more apps you're going to write. It is a direct correlation to your income. Now, let's, what else can we learn about these numbers? Okay, my, my goal for the month was $30,000 submitted premium. I actually submitted 26. I missed it by $4,000, $4,000 APV, annual premium volume, $4,000, right? My goal was 30. I did 26, $4,000, which if the average application in the industry is 1000 bucks, I missed it by four apps. Let's dig deeper. My goal was to submit, was to issue pay $20,000. I issue paid 14, 5,000, five apps. Now, that means I missed my goal by $5,991, or roughly $6,000. I wrote 18 apps. I had one decline and one pending. Okay? That one pending is 4,000 APV. If you put that back in these numbers, okay, issue paid, I'm sitting at about eighteen dollars to $19,000. I wanted to do twenty. Basically, I missed my goal because I fell short of five applications. Five applications, issue paid. Right? Which means I probably had to write six because I'm going to lose one in underwriting or decline like I just did here. Okay? Or 1.5 apps a week. Or, based on my closing ratio, three appointments. Right? Now, I've already raced the board off, but if you remember, going back, you can rewind the video, or I can tell you what it is. Here's my sheet right here. But the first, month, first week, I did nine appointments uh, set. I set with six. The second week, I did eight. I set with six. The third week, I did eight, set with six. The fourth week, I did eight, set with five. I never did my 15, Right? But if I, so I, if I had set 15 based on the closing ratio that I showed you, I would have wrote seven each week. So in the first week, I, I would have picked up one app. The second week, I would have picked up one app. The third week, I would have put, picked up one app. And the fourth week, I would have picked up two. So two, three, four, five. There's my five apps. <laughs> Isn't that great? It's absolutely fantastic. Okay, because I just broke it down. I'm missing five apps, and the reason why I missed my goal was not lack of skills. It was not because of the crappy leads or the I'm, I'm signed up with or my sponsor or my mentor is a, is a jerk. It wasn't any of that stuff. I missed my mark because I failed to set my initial goal or to hit my initial goal, which was 15 appointments per week. Had I hit 15 per week based on my closing ratio, that you just saw in the first part of this video, I would have picked up one app the first week, one app the second week, 
one app the third week, and two apps the fourth week, two, three, four, five apps, I would have gained. And I was short five. This stuff is, 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 uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Running your numbers on your production is absolutely refreshing. It's therapeutic. It's, it reconfirms the fact that this is a law of large numbers business. It's all about the numbers. It's a metrics-based system. Means that the beauty about working a leads-based opportunity is that you and I have the opportunity to scale our income based not on who we know, not on referrals, not on running our own ads on Facebook or YouTube or all that other stuff that you and I talk about all the time. I get calls all day long. Well, I should do my own lead generation. I don't recommend you do that at all. Well, let me just put it this way. Yeah, you should do all of that. Not your own websites and your own Facebook ads. I think that's a waste of time. Let the professionals do what the professionals do. They know how to do direct mail and lead generation. You and I know how to sell insurance. Our, what we should be doing is getting, is getting more sits face-to-face or virtually with clients. Not sitting on a computer trying to generate our own leads. It doesn't, the time invested in that doesn't work out into income, which is all that matters. Okay? Buy your leads, right? Buy the freshest lead you possibly can or scale to their freshest lead. I recommend our agents start out with two and six and eleven dollar leads and then work themselves up to a high quality uh, fresh A lead direct mail program of at least five a week to start and then go five, ten, fifteen, and twenty from there. And that way you're gonna scale your income by working with fresh leads. That was empowering. It was therapeutic for me to do. I hope it was beneficial to you. And I just want to share one last thing. I got a, uh, one of, someone that, that uh, came from this channel named, by the name of James. I will not reveal his last name. Sent me a wonderful card this week. And uh, it says, I'm, I hope he doesn't mind me sharing it. It says, I'm so grateful to have found you and excited about your offer to mentor me in this uh, insurance business. Uh, allow me to do what is needed over the next couple of months well, I won't go into that, okay? I strongly believe that you and I working together will be a powerful team. And James, I totally agree with that. Thank you so much for the card. Uh, I've been doing this for 30 plus years. I don't think I've ever received a better card um, or a thank you from anybody. And so I appreciate that and lets me know that what I'm doing here is impacting um, at least a few of you. And, uh, and you find that uh, to be um, uh, worth your time to send a card. So thank you, James. Appreciate that, James from uh, Illinois. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that. So hope this has been, been helpful. Again, like I said, if you're brand new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you're, um, and also hit the bell because that way you'll get the instant. If you don't hit the bell, then getting the, the, the video blogging day to day will be delayed. If you hit the bell, as soon as I go live, you're going to get the video. So that's important. Hit the, hit the bell. Give me the thumbs up because in Facebook worlds, thumbs up is everything. Even thumbs down, they consider that engagement. And we need to grow this channel. We need to get more views on the, on, on the videos. And, and so the last thing I would say is make a comment, like, subscribe, mash the bell, but share it with people that might be interested in knowing more about this industry or are already in the industry and not having success. We can help them with our, our proprietary um, training system that we have here, which is day-to-day, case-by-case, ground-level support, no videos, well, there are some videos, but we, you know, you, way you learn this business or the way you learn anything, the transferring of knowledge from a mentor or coach is through conversations like we're having right here also, but really more importantly, every single day on the telephone to and from before, during, and after your appointments. Have a great week. See you in a couple of days when I start running my appointments for this week. Bye-bye now.